And I will demonstrate bed back or your complete hygiene. Sabi natin, there are three types of patient. That is either a dependent patient, an independent patient, or semi-dependent patient. When we talk about your complete bed bath, this is a type of what type of bath? Very good. Kasi this kasi parang kahit na diyo na alam. Cleansing bath, tiba. This is a form of a cleansing bath where you where you where you perform the hygiene care of the patient while the patient is on the bed. So that is your complete bed bath. Clear po. Now, tandaan natin the techniques of your bed bath can change. But there are principles that you need to remember when we are performing bed bath. Ito po hindi dapat nagbabago. Kalimutan mo na lahat, huwag mong kakalimutan ng principles because these principles are the one that will govern your performance of the skills. And what are these principles in your bed bath? First, you have to start cephalocaudal. Anong ibig sabihin ng cephalocaudal? Mula sa ulo. Very good. That is from head to toe. Kaya nga pag nagpo-perform tayo ng bed bath, we always start from the head, we end sa paa. Head to toe. Walang nag una ka nag naghugas ng paa, pagkatapos pinutbrush mo siya, pagkatapos pinugasan mo yung kamay, pagkatapos sinugasan mo yung mata, tapos lang tenga ka. Walang ganun. Magsistar ka sa ulo, pa ba ba. That's the first principle. The second principle is we start from your cleanness to dirty. Yes. So we always start with the cleanest part of the body and end with the dirtiest part of the body. Anong rationale for that? What's the reason? That is to prevent cross-contamination. Cross Correct. Kaya nga, anong pinakahuli natin nililinis? perennial care. Kasi ito yung pinaka marume. Diba? The perennial area is the dirtiest pero yan ang lagi mo. Ay! Diba? Mahilig talaga kayo sa mga marume. Oo. So we start on the cleanest to dirtiest. Let's after cleanest to dirtiest, we start from we start from the far side of the body to the near side of the body. Ano ibig sabihin nong? Wui, pagmute ka ni para ito ko dalang daman. So for example, nandito ka na ka pwesto. Kapag nanginis ka ng katawan ng pasyente, you always start with the far side. So kung Tenga yan, you always start with the part ear. After clean the part ear, the near ear. Kung kamay yan, just start with the far arm. After the far arm, the near arm. Bakit po nakukuna tayo sa far before the near? Because we would like to sing Near, far, wherever <laughs> you are, I believe that. Bakit hindi nyo kailangan sa mod sa demo niya, magsak sila. Bakit na hindi <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Bakit kailangan lang yung start sa far side before the near side? <laughs> Kasi that is also to prevent cross-contamination. Why? Kasi kung hindi nyo na ako nilinis ito, nilinis ko itong kamay na ito, malinis na after, correct? Malinis na ako, marumi. 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 So nung nilinis ko yung kabilang kamay, na-touch na yung uniform ko sa kamay na nilinis ko, na-contaminate? Yes. 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 Kaya nga, ayaw natin ma-contaminate yung pasyente. We start with the far side, para pagkatapos ng far side, Pag nag-near side ka na, hindi mo na matatouch yung far side. Nare-recontaminate. Yes or no? No. Very good. Kaya nga, we start from the? Far. far. Go into the? Near. And then you will see? <laughs> Very good. Okay. Clear. Question so far? Uh -oh. Next. And the last? The last principle that you need to remember is you always have to start from the distal to proximal part of the body. Pag sinabi natin distal, ibig sabihin that is the far side of the mid, the midline of the body. So, yan, kapag nabilinis ka ng kamay ng pasyente, hindi ka tapong ulo, wala ka 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 wala
sa sa risk pagpaakyat lagi sa sa taas so this is the distal part the hands is the distal part and the shoulder is the proximal part bakit kailangan natin from distal to proximal ang dinis because we would like to promote circulation for patients that are bedridden maganda ba ang circulation hindi di hindi maganda yung venous return so kaya kapag nag-distal to proximal tayo we are pushing the blood back to the heart as na napopromote natin ang circulation same thing with the legs from this now to proxima. So those are the principles that you need to remember when you are performing your bed bath. You understand? Yes, yes sir. Clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, let's start doing your bed bath. Pwede mo naman ako ng chart? Kaya may patient chart? Pwede tayo si Mang Dags, may patient chart po na si Ano naman yan? Or any clipboard. Not in the back of the ano. Why? Why is not clocking? Okay, let me try it. Okay, so. Before we perform your bed bath, the first thing that you need to do is again check for the doctor for the patient's chart or the check the doctor's order. Ano yung check natin sa chart ng pasyente natin? We would like to assess or check kung ano kasi yung condition ng pasyente natin. Are there any restrictions in the performance of the care? Example, pwede bang iturn yung pasyente? Hindi ba siya pwedeng iturn? Ganon. Bawal ba siyang itayo? Bawal ba siyang iupo? So we have to check for the restrictions of the patient. So, we have to check for the doctor's order. At saka, we can also assess there kung ano yung order natin for the bed bath. Kung morning care ba siya, afternoon care ba siya, evening care ba siya, early morning care ba ang kailangan ng pasyente natin. After assessing or checking for the doctor's uh, order or checking for the patient's chart, we will assemble all the things that we will need. So, why do we have to assemble all the things that we need prior to the performance of the procedure? That is to promote Uh, to, to save time and effort. Bakit we have to save time and effort? Para hindi tayo pabalik-balik. Kasi kung may kulang, hahanapin mo na naman. Diba? Hindi mo naman yung pasyente mo, so we do not want that. So what are the things that we need to do? Or we need to prepare? We need to have at least three towels, a rubber sheet, a, uh, a, 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 a the, the gown of the patient, and then a bath blanket. A bath blanket is any type of linen na pwede mong i-cover sa pasyente mo. Bakit kailangan mo ng bad blanket? Kasi nga, para kapag naglinis, alas na tayo na maglinis, tinatanggal natin yung top sheet because the top sheet is considered dirty already or contaminated. You need to have a kelly pad. This is a kelly pad. It's an inflated kelly pad. Bakit po? Kasi pag nag-bed shampoo tayo, hindi nilalagay natin sa pasyente para mag-drain naman ng, ng liquid or ng tubig habang nilibigyan natin siya na ng shampoo para hindi magbasa yung buong kama. And then, your deeper, yung short chart abo, your, your, your basins, okay? Small basins, kung may big basins, okay lang. And then, we have your, uh, your, what is basa in English? Pail, yes. And then, your bed pan, pag babae and lalaki. And then, pag lalaki, bed pan and urinal. Urinal and bed pan, pag babae, bed pan lang. Pag lalaki, bed pan and yun na. Clear. Pareho po. And then of course, the hygiene for refernalyo of the patient. Like for example, your shampoo, yung mouthwash niya, yung sabon na preferred niya. Diba? You also need to have a tongue depressor and a boss. O kaya po, nang tsaka lang mga cotton tip up na kippers ninyo. You have your cotton boss. And then we have your your forceps. And then your gloves. You understand? So assemble all the things that you need prior to the performance of the care para pa nag-start ka, nandit na lahat ng kailanganan mo. And then of course, tubig. Kasi wala naliligong walang tubig. Pero ngayon, hindi ako magamit ng tubig. Clear po. Pero sa paggamit ng tubig po, gaano natin, gaano, gaano kadalas ang magpalit ng tubig, depende kung gaano nakarunin yung tubig. You understand? So that will depend on the patient. You understand? So, I have already assembled all the things that I have done, uh, that I will use. Then I will perform my hand care or my hand hygiene, perform hand, hand, hand washing. Kung kailangan mong mag-perform, mag-gumamit ng gloves in the performance of your 
Bed bad example, may bed source yung pasyente mo, may sugat pala. May sugat, correct. Tapos may, may lumalabas sa secretion, yes or no? Yes, kailangan ko mag-gloves, yes. So, depende sa case. Kung ang pasyente mo, hindi mo wala naman lumalabas sa secretion, kahit wag ka muna mag-gloves. Pero kung ang pasyente mo, may lumalabas sa secretion na, you have to wear your gloves, kahit nag-blend shampoo ka. That depends. So, again, you wear your PPE as needed. Clear? Question po. Because again, PPE are used to protect yourself. So, depende sa case ng pasyente ang pagsusuot ng PPE. Maliwanag po ba? Okay. So, after performing my hand hygiene, next is I will manipulate the environment. Anong ibig sabihin ng manipulate the environment? I will make sure that the cleaning procedure, the bathing procedure, will promote privacy on the patient and will not promote uh, any thermoregulation problem. So, in short, I will turn off the air condition kapag nakasindi. Kung walang ventilation, di ba, maglalagay naman ako ventilation. Kapag malamig, sinsindihan ko yung heater. Kapag maraming tao, I will close the, uh, the curtains to provide privacy on the patient. So, again, that depends. Kaya nga sabi doon, manipulate the environment. That depends on the need of the patient. You understand? After that, I will greet, identify, and introduce myself to the patient. Good morning, ma'am. Kasi morning care na Good morning, sir, pala. Good morning, sir. Pakala po nila? Bikin ako ang pangalan. Junjun. Junjun. Sir Junjun, I'm Chasey Cebu po. I will be your caregiver for you then. I will be giving you a bed bath. Palikuan ko lang po kayo sa kama so that you will be comfortable. At saka pa, it will promote rest and sleep po. Will that be okay with you, sir? Yes. Sir Junjun, while I am performing the bed bath, you might feel, any, you might feel uh, some uncomfortability. So just inform me. Kung uncomfortable po kayo, so I could stop and give you some rest. Will that be okay with you, Sir Junjo? Yes. Okay. Sige. Now, we will start now. The first thing that you will do is to, first is to, itatagalin mo muna sa pagkakatak yung mga linens. Okay? Kasi after po nito, it will be followed by your, your, your occupied bed making. Next, we will start with your bed shampoo. So, kapag natak mo na, Next, we will start with your bed shampoo, Re assist the patient's head or support the patient's head, remove the pillow, and then place the patient's body in a in a slanting position. Okay? Tapos mo yung side dress, para ka siya mahulog, pasa pag iniwag mo siya, kailangan nakakasang side dress. Place a rubber sheet sa ilalim ng ulohan ng pasyente para hindi na magbasa yung kanyang bed. And then, place a carry pad doon sa ulohan ng pasyente mo kasi ito yung magdi-drain ng tubig and then, pag may kelly pad, kailangan mo din ang timba para nagkasalit ng tubig baka nalagay ka nga ng kelly pad, di pagbasa yung kama yung floor na wala nagbasa, ang gaga <laughs> oo, oh, oh. clear and then you place a a towel or a, 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 a cover sa mata ng pasyente mo kung may tissue, tissue na lang gamitin ko para mas good over the eyes of the patient and then cover the ears of the patient para hindi pumasok yung tubig na-cover ko na okay, wala lang ka siya ears na ano afterwards, you will place towels under the patient's neck para hindi mabasa yung likod ng pasyente mo and then, another towel on the patient. Ikalikot mo, sir. Under the, uh, on the chest of the patient. Okay? So, maglalagay tayo ng towel sa, di ako nakita ng mga Pokemons. O, nakakaas to, ha? Ayan. Okay. So, I will place a towel underneath the patient's nape and then on the chest of the patient. After that, we will start with the bed shampoo. Sa bed shampoo po, ang uwi natin siya pa na, sa talo kauda, shampoo muna. So on the bed shampoo, we will start with combing the hair of the patient. Bakit muna yung kukomb yung pasyente, yung hair ng pasyente, lalo na kung babae ito, mahaba ang buho, you comb the patient's hair first. Bakit? To remove the tangles. Para mawala yung, yung tangles ng pasyente mo. After that, you can now get your water. Do you see the water? Yes. May ba ako dito, ha? 
Uh, and then you can now start washing the patient's hair. So start with washing the, washing the patient. After washing the patient, you can use the preferred shampoo of the patient. We will now use personal collection, which is way out of the system, sir. <laughs> okay, and then you can now wash the hair of the patient, okay, using the preferred shampoo of the patient. And then you also have to massage the scalp of the patient. Why do you have to massage the scalp of the patient? That is to promote circulation. Kasi nga, lalo kapag bedo yun ang pasyente natin, lagi naka, yeah. nakahiga, para ma-prevent na rin yung bed source on the, on the head of the patient. So, you provide scalp massage on the patient. After that, then you will what, you will comb the hair of the patient again. Why do you have to comb the patient again? To remove the excess shampoo or the excess soap. Para pag binalawan mo, mas konti na yung sabon. Mas mapapadali ang buhay mo. So, remove the excess shampoo first. When you have already removed the excess shampoo, then that's the time that you're going to rinse the, nandito yung tubig ko, you have to rinse the hair of the patient. Okay? Nung ma-rinse mo na, then you will now remove the kelly pad, get the towel such as ng pasyente mo, and you can now dry the patient's hair. Yeah. Okay. After drying the patient's hair, you are now ready to. Oh, dahil lalaki naman yung pasyente ko, hindi naman nag-dry na yun maayos. Okay. So we are now done with the bed shampoo. Ano na susunod? Head na. So we will now go on the head. So kapag nasa head na po tayo, you will position the patient. Kapag nasa head ka na, you will position the patient on the side or at the edge of the bed. So you will put the patient on the edge of the bed. Bakit gusto mo nasa edge na siya para hindi ka mag-overreach? You understand? And then, kung para mas mapadali, mas maganda po that the patient is in semi-fowler's position. Yan. You position the patient in semi-fowler's. Okay? And then, tandaan natin, ang sequence natin sa pagdininas is always wash, soap, rinse, pat, dry. Ano yung sequence natin sa pagdininas? Wash, soap, rinse, pat, dry. So we will, kanun ka naman maligo, di ba? You will wash yourself first. After that, you will soap so. yourself. And then you will rinse yourself. And then you will dry yourself. Correct? So it's always wash, soap, rinse, pat, dry. Pero, ang pinagkaiba sa bed bath, as you clean one area, you dry that area. You understand? Kasi pag naligo ka sa shower, sabay-sabay mong binabasa. Sabay-sabay mong baba, sasabunin. Sabay-sabay mong babalawan. Sabay-sabay ka magpapatuyo. Ito hindi. As you clean one area, you will dry it too. After. Kaya nga, every time na may lilinisin ka, the towel should always be present. The towel should always be underneath the area that you're going to clean. Kasi nga, Every area you have to dry. You understand? Yes. Okay. So we will start with the head first. Saan tayo magsa-start? We will start with the ears. So you get your cotton balls. Okay. I need to swear. You get your cotton balls. Soak it with water. Okay. Soak it with water. And then we can now start cleaning. So you get another uh, basin. Now pang discard mo lang. So, we will start with the cleaning. So, this is soap uh, cotton ball. So, start with the ears. Start with the outer pina. Kasi sabi yung outer pina, that's the outer part of the ear. Start with the outer pina, discard. And then, inner pina, discard. So, the sequence will depend on how dirty the patient's skin is. After the far ear, you will, get, you will go to the near, near ear. ear. Outer pina, discard. Inner pina, discard. After the ears, you will go with the eyes. So you will get your cotton pads or your cotton balls. So from your cotton pads, do you suck it? Do you suck it? Yes, sir. You suck it in the main mga ganito. So, uh -oh, you start with the far eye with it. Start with the inner cantus. Go with the outer cantus. Discard. Inner cantus to the outer cantus discard, and then the eyes. Inner cantus to the outer cantus discard. Inner cantus to the outer cantus discard. So again, that depends on how dirty the eyes. Kung masyadong maraming secretion, masyadong maraming muta, syempre mas maraming stroke ang gagawin mo. After the eyes, you will go with the 
nose. So we will use your cotton tip applicator, kahit cotton buds lang, okay lang. And then soak it with water, start with the far nail, yung malayong nail muna. Discard, near nail, discard, and then pat dry. Okay? After the eyes, ears, nose, you do the mouth care. So, sa mouth care natin, you need to have your kidney basin. So, kapag ang pasyante natin kaya na mag-tolerate, kaya na pa mag-gising pa siya, kaya na mag-toothbrush. So, pwede mo siyang itipo, and then you just offer water para makapag-bumbog siya ay makapag-toothbrush siya. Kapag ang pasyante naman natin ay hindi niya kaya, then you can put the, kunyari, common ocean pasyante natin. So, hindi niya pwede mag-toothbrush siya, pwede mag-gargel. Bakit? Maglulunod siya, kaga. Oo. So, ano gagawin mo? Put the patient's head on the side. Place a kidney basin. Kasi ito yung mug. Didrain ng lahat ng fluids ng pasyente. Then, you will use a padded tongue depressor. So, you get a tongue depressor. You get a tongue depressor. You get a gauze. Gasa lang, mga kaibigan ko. And then, mag-roll ka lang ng gasa doon sa tongue depressor. Okay, pag-roll ka lang ng gasa. depressor and then you could use your mouthwash. So pag ganito po, pag hindi, hindi matutuloy na pasit niya mag-brush talaga ng teeth dahil komatose siya, for example, you just use a mouthwash and a type of depressor and then yun yung pang oral care mo sa pasyente. So wipe the, wipe the gums, the palate, the teeth and then including the tongue. Pero kailangan anong klase yung mouthwash ang ginagamit mo? alcohol-free mouthwash para hindi rin mag, masyado mag-dry yung bibig niya, hindi magkaroon ng mouth sores. Okay? And then, basta kailangan meron kang kidney basin para kung maglabay man yung pasyente natin, pwede. And then, if you would like the patient to guard, then you can use an aseptosilis. Ang gagawin mo lang, ito po, ay kukuha na mo lang ng... So, if you press mo muna ito, pasok mo doon para may suction, kuha ka ng tubig, magkakatubig na yan. And then, side po yung pasyente, you could you could now start rinsing the patient na nakasign para kapag start mo sa taas para magtutunong lang yung tubig pababa so para nakakapag gargle yung pasyente mo clear question so far so that is your acceptance syringe and then cut dry kasi pa pala lumawa ako tsaka yung big feedback niya sabi kaya kakausap kahit 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 ay gomatos kailangan kakausapin kasi nakakarinig naman sila Sir, tapos na po ako sa bibig ninyo. Mukha na po tayo, okay? Sige po. So, pag nasa mukha na po tayo, you make a meter. So, kailangan po ng, siyempre, kapag ganyan, ang kailangan mo na ay maraming palang dana. So, you will need to read. Bakit? Because you have wash, soap, rinse. Tubig na pang wash, tubig na may sabon, tubig na pang banla. So, kailangan dapat tatlo. Okay? O, so, dapat talo din ang iyong washcloth. Tubig na pang banlaw, ay tubig na pang wash, tubig na may sa washcloth na pang may sabon, at saka pang rinse. O, so, tatlo din niya. So, let's start. Water muna. Make a mitten. Okay, make a mitten. Bakit kailangan mo mag-create ng mitten? Paano mag-create ng mitten? Ikot mo lang. And then, fold mo, ipasok mo yung mitten sa loob. So, meron ka ng ganyan. Bakit? Para, you can use the four sides. You can use this side. Pag marumi na, you can use the back side. Pag gusto ka yung side, the other side. And then, you can use the other side. Depende sa'yo kung ilang sides ang gusto mong gamitin. Kung mas may pasito, kakakabal daw, magkakabal daw, isang side lang ang gamitin mo. You understand? So, start with the forehead. Wash. And then, you may sew. Sew. And then you may pang rinse, rinse, clear. Yes. And then up, and then pat dry. After that, you go on the half the face. 
far side first. Start with the outer canthus, as motion yes. from the inner canthus of the eye, going on the ears, going to the nose bridge or the cheeks, going on the chin, at going under the chin, up to the back of the ears. Wash, soap, rinse, pat dry, and then you go on the other side of the face. Wash, soap, rinse, pat dry. To be here. So, kaya nga tatlo yan. So, demo mo tatlo beses kang magkaganong doon. Clear. After the head, you are done with the head. Ano nga susunod? Body. So, tapos na po tayo sa katawan. Remove the towel. Ngayon, may naliligo bang nakadamit? Wala. Wala. So, anong gagawin natin? First is, your top sheet should be placed to a bat blanket. Bucket, because this is considered contaminated. So, get a bat blanket. Ang una mong gagawin is to cover. So, yung pinangpapat dry nyo since sa buhok, yun din yung pinangpapat dry natin ng gamba ba? Kung pwede pang gamitin, why not? Basa hindi basang-basa. Kung hindi naman siya basang-basa, why not? Oo, pero syempre, kaya nga at least you have three towels available. Okay? Next, you place a a bath blanket. So, any kumot lang ito. Kailangan mo lang ng kumot. Okay? Para lamang hindi ma-expose yung pasyente mo. So, ipatong mo muna yung bath blanket and then remove the top sheet. Bakit po? Para at least hindi na expose yung pasyente mo. May nakita ka? Wala. Wala. And then place, place this on the patient's hamper. Hindi na cash siya. Dito na lang. Okay. Clear. And then, you remove the gown. So, kasi walang pagsasak na sa katawan, so you have to remove the gown of the patient. Wait lang. Okay, so next is you're going to put the patient in his side. So kung ang pasyente natin ay pwede ng side, so isasayad mo natin yung pasyente natin. Di na nag-flex mo ka ba yun na? Oh, and then remove the gown. Oh, pero nakadamit pa siya. Kung nalang parang siyang damit, ha? Remove the patient's gown. Um, at least, dapat wala masyadong na e-expose. O, kung wala rin damit. Wala rin damit. Oo. Kasi ba't naka-jacket ka? Hindi naman malamig dito. Wala rin So, remove the down of the patient. Next, we will start with the hands. Start tayo sa kamay. So, place a towel again. Under, expose only what is needed to be exposed. Kung yun lang forearm ang dinilisid mo, expose the forearm only. Okay? And then, get a basin with water. Wash the hands of the patient. Kung meron kang brush, wala tayong brush dito. You brush, you can brush the hands of the patient. Pati yung nails niya para malinis. And then wash. So, rinse. And then, pat dry. After po ng hands, you go with the wrist up to the antecubital fossa from the antecubital fossa up to the shoulder. So, using again your, your mittens, you start elevate the patient's hand. Start with the wrist, wash, soap, rinse, pat dry. And then from the antecubital fossa up to the shoulder, wash, soap, rinse up to the axillary area, pat dry. After the forearm, then you do the near arm. So do the same procedure, pareho na. Pero sa demo ninyo, gawin niyo talaga. Okay, hiningyan na ako eh. Next, after the forearm, we go on the chest. So, place a towel again on the chest of the patient para pag binaba mo yung bad blanket, walang masyado na e-expose. You understand? Place it up to the waist level. So, ideally, you will start, you will do with this, promoting privacy of the patient, so you will do this under the towel. But for this purpose, para bakit ninyo, tatanggalin ko. So you start with the side of the 
body, pababa. Bakit? Kasi we will follow the cleanest to their ears. Yung sa kamay, paakyat to promote circulation, distal to proximal. Pero ito kasi sa katawan, may perennial area ka. Pag dinanon mo, dudumi yung katawan ng pasyente. So you will use now the concept of cleanest to their ears. So you will start on the side. Side of the body going down, wash, soap, rinse, pat dry. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. Kapag babae yan at may meron siyang suso, you follow the contour of the breast. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. So, kung nakanasa ko sa ibaba yan, wash, so rinse, pat dry. Wash, so ang gabahal ka sa abila. And then, pat dry. Clear. And then, fold the towel again. Get your your bad blanket remove the towel may nakita wala after noon pagkatapos ng chest ano susunod back back muna may likod pa girl may likod pa <laughs> oh turn the patient again on the side turn the patient on the side and then place a towel again at the underneath the patient's back and then do the same procedure you start from the far side of the body of the patient Sir, sa likod na po ako, start with the shoulder. Wash, soap, rinse, pad dry. Wash, soap, rinse, pad dry. Wash, soap, rinse, pad dry. After the back, you go with the Botox. Wash, soap, rinse, pad dry. Siyempre sa Botox, mas, mas nag-expect ka na mas marami kang beses mag papalit ng tubig at magpapalit ng, ng mittens kasi mas marumi yung sa Botox area, wash, soap, rinse, pad dry, 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 wash, soap, rinse, pad dry. Opo, kasi nga madumi. So sir, okay lang na-expose yung sa may Botox? Yes, kasi yun na po yung linis nyo eh. Oo, kaya nga meron ka namang curtain to promote privacy from others. You understand? Pero in real life po, hindi ito ginagawa ng isang Pokemon na. Kasi, mabigat ang pasyente. Lalo kung pomatos. And then, bago natin, Bago natin i-flat yung pasyente, pwede mo na siyang bihisa. Okay? Kasi po, para hindi na siya la begin. Okay, so you can now dress the patient. Sir, bihisa ko lang po kayo. Ayan, sir. And then, fold mo lang na, fold lang natin yung yung bat, yung kanyang damit below uh, above the waist para lang hindi madumihan pa yung some part of the gown. After the after the back, what's next? After the back, what, what's next? Legs na tayo. So, far leg ulit po tayo, expose the far leg only. And then, di ba nakasapatos pa yung pasyon? Nakasapatos. Nakasapatos. <laughs> Oh, ganun talaga. Ganun talaga sa practice niya. And then, place the, the the tower underneath the patient's leg. Flex the patient's leg. Soak the patient's foot with the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> wash the foot of the patient. Okay, you wash the foot of the patient. Brush the toenails para malinis. And then, itali yung sintas. And just like, and then, pat dry. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. And then, mas maganda pa rin, maka-flex yung pasyente mo. Okay? That is also promoting uh, exercises and contraction of the muscles. And then, using your mitten, you start from the from the tarsal, go to the knees. So, wash, so rinse, pat dry. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. And then, knees up to the upper leg, up to the inguinal area. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. Wash, so rinse, pat dry. And then, do the same procedure on the other leg. So, natapos ko na yung legs. Natapos ko na yung body. Ano lang na iwan? Perineal. Perineal area. So, that is your perineal care. Ngayon, including the perineal care. So, dito po, dahil yan ay may, may perineal na mandatory na naka-blabs ka na. Do not touch the perineum of the patient with your bare hands. Okay? Because it can be interpreted in a different way. So you always have to use your gloves. Next is, you will ask the patient first if the patient wants to urinate. Sir, pag pipiling nga care po ako, gusto niyo muna po bang umihe? Okay, yes. Kung gusto niya umihe, dahil na natin ito, offer a urinal. So, 
Kung ito yung toy toy niya, offer mo lang yung yuri na. Okay po, ihigi na pa kayo. Siyempre, dapat sa ilalim ito lang. Oh, ihigi na po. Okay, tapos na po kayo. Hindi pa po kayo kinilig. Kinilig na siya. Oh, pagkatapos nun, oh, and then remove the the uh, urinal and then dispose the urine. Kung babae yan, you offer a bedpan. So, paano mag-offer ng bedpan? So, unang mong gagawin is to flex the patient's leg. Anong position ito? Doors are slanted. And then, kasi mabuntok. Oh, and then, lift the, kung yan yung pasyente mo. Naka-doors are recumbent siya, ha? Lift the buttocks area of the patient and then offer the bedpan. Sige po, and then cover again. Ihina po kayo. Pag nakaihina, remove and then discard. Next, we go with your filling up there. Kapag lalaki ang pasyente, anong position ng pasyente? Supay. So, kung ito po yung pasyente natin, exposed lang dapat ma-exposed. Ayan na siya. Offer, offer a, pl place first a towel. And then, a clean bed pan again. Okay? So, paano ang, well, do not touch this with your bare hands. So, you can use your soap, you get your soap, uh, your soap cotton balls. And then, hold the penis with using your scissor hold. So, scissor hold lang po tayo. This is your glands penis. Yung pinakaulo po, ang tawag doon, glands penis. This is the shaft, yung katawan ng titi, ang tawag natin doon yung shaft. Ito po is called the scrotum. You understand? So, this is the shaft, the glands penis, the shaft, the scrotum. And then, yung butas is your urethral orifice. Everybody say? Urethral Everybody say? Check, glands penis na tayo. Butas ka pa rin? Or, everybody say? Urethral orifice. Urethral orifice. Ita po ba doon yun? You let your orifice, glands penis, shaft, and then scrotum. So hold the patient's penis, scissor hold. Bakit po scissor hold? Para less yung heat na matatouch doon sa penis. Kasi kapag ang hawak mo ay maraming daliri, mas mataas ang chance na mag-erect yan. Para huwag masyadong tumigas, mas less ang ang iyong side stimulation doon sa penis. Kung yan ay uncircumcised, you have to retract the prepuce. Ang tawag dun sa balat is prepuce. Everybody say prepuce? Prepuce. Oo. So, if the patient is uncircumcised, so pag uncircumcised yan, nakatago yung may balat pa nagko-cover dun sa dun sa glans penis. So, ang gagawin mo, you have to retract the prepuce to show the glans penis. And then, get your cotton balls, soak with water and your for set. Do not touch or hold this by your bare hands. Huwag mong siyang nililisin na ganon. You use a for set. Clear. Bakit po? Para hindi ka madimanda ng sexual harassment. Oo. Kasi nga, it will seems to be, it will always look at uh, as if you are doing it professionally. Because you are using a for set. Clear. Kasi imagine mo kung babae ito, o, oh, eh, di mas manongin ka. Hindi niya sabihin po kina, kanyang kasibe. Di ba? O, eh, di mas, 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 hindi, that's true. That will be interpreted in a different way. You understand? Clear po? Yes, sir. O, oh, so you hold it, you, kaya nga, do not hold or touch the patient's uh, genital area and glove using your bare hands. You use, use using only your hands. Kailangan nakablas or you have a for set. Kahit sa ospital, ganun po. Yung mga nanganganak namin, si CS na lang namin, pag ninis namin siya, naka-for set pa din kami. Kahit naka-gloves. Because that is the real way. That's the correct way. Ano lang hindi pwede i-for set? Kapag inakaiki mo siya, paano maaaki kung gagamitin mo ay? For set. For set. Diba? So start with the glands, with the urethral orifice. One stroke po. From the from the urethral orifice, one stroke go to the glands penis. Discard. Get another cotton ball, grand spin, uh, urethral orifice or grand spin is discard. Another cotton ball, discard. Another cotton ball, discard. After punon, on the edge of the glands spin is discard. And then, support from the, uh, from the tip of the glands, uh, from the shaft, go to the base of the shaft, discard, 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 
discard, discard, and then up to the scrotum. Discard, 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 and then on the anus. Discard. Kapag yan ay may catheter, may sonda siya. Ang gamit ko lang dito ang tubig. Just for perineal care. The purpose of your perineal care is to promote or to prevent, sorry, infection or UTI. Pero kapag may catheter yan, may sonda siya. Meron siyang sonda. There's a catheter. So may nakasuksuk sa kanya. Ay, hindi kasya. Ay, hindi rin kasya. <laughs> oh, may nakasuksuk sa kanya. So ibig sabihin po niyan, mayroong catheter na nakapasok sa para makaihi siya, mayroong siyang catheter. So dahil ito, mas mataas ang chance ng pasyente na din nagkakaroon ng infection if there is catheter. So kapag ganyan, ano yung ginagamit natin pang perineal care? We use betadine. Betadine po ang gagamitin natin. So may betadine ito. You will start from Ito ka sa kabilang side ko. So, so instead of so betadine. Yes. Pero ganun pa rin yung process. Hindi, magkakaroon ng iba ng konti. Ma'am, hawakan mo ito. Yan, okay. So, nakita nyo, nagsaksak siya? Oo. So, better dahil po nito, you will start with the point of insertion, papunta po doon sa catheter. Discard. Bakit po? Kasi nga, you would like to disinfect the catheter para walang microorganism, walang bacteria. Kasi, yun yung papasok sa brother ng pasyente mo at that will cause the, the infection. And then, huwag nyo hihilahin ito. So just support it gently lang. And then, discard. The other side, discard. Discard. After po nun, you can go with the betadine do sa point of insertion. And then, around it. Discard. And then the, uh, the whole blood spin is discard. 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 After nun, you can now get water, with uh, cotton balls with water, to clean the surrounding of the gland spin is para lang hindi maglagkit. Pero you will always start with better time to disinfect. Clear po? Position ng lahat pasyente? So fine. Pam lalaki. Pag babae? Very good. Doors are become bad. Nakataas? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Pag babae, nakataas yung legs? Flex legs? Foot and turn rotated. Doors are become bad. So, familiar? Yes. Ganyan ba tulad sa inyo? <laughs> Hindi. Kasi nakabukang kami yan. Ang tawag natin sa, sa pakpak na ito is your your labia minora. So, ang sa inyo kasi, di ba, pakpak, three thumbs. Di ba? Nakaganan yun sa inyo. Yan. Pak, three thumbs yun sa inyo. Yan. Pag pinuka mo yan, ganyan na itsura niya. Correct? So, this is the labia majora. This is the labia minora. So, kapag wala pong catheter yung pasyente natin, you will start with La soap lang or your feminine wash. Okay? You can start with your uh, your soap or your, uh, your water and your feminine wash. And then soap uh, rinse again. So wash, soap rinse, back dry pa rin tayo. So you will start with your your with your, uh, your labia majora. So you pisngi po ng, ng vagina sa labas. We call that the, the labia majora. Everybody say? Labia majora. Kapag binuka mo yan, meron na siyang pakpak. Ang tawag nun is the labia minora. Very good. So we start, you retract first, and then start with your labia majora. Seven strokes. Start with the middle. Start with the mons pubis. Yung pinaka dito, because that's the mons pubis. Start with the mons pubis, seven strokes. Kaya tinawag na seven, kasi start with the side, going down, discard. Labia majora on the other side, seven stroke, discard. And then retract para makita yung, lab, yung labia minora. Labia minora on the other side, seven stroke, discard. Labia minora on the other side, seven stroke, discard. Your clitoris, urethral orifice, vaginal orifice, go into the anus, discard. Clear? So paano tayo? Mons pubis, labia minora, labia majora, seven stroke, discard. Mons pubis, labia majora, seven stroke, discard. My labia minora, seven stroke discard. Labia minora, seven stroke discard. Clitoris, but urethral orifice, vaginal orifice, and then we go with your anus discard. And then feminine wash or soap, and then rinse. Kapag yan ay mayroong catheter, you start again. Sa loob ka mag start. So mag start ka dun sa labia majora. Ay sorry. Uh, urethral orifice, uh, clitoris, urethral orifice, labia majora. <laughs> 
urethral clitoris, urethral orifice, vaginal orifice come up to start. This card. And then, from the point of insertion, going out of the, from the point of insertion, going to the tube. All sides, this card. After non labia minora, this card, labia minora, this card, labia majora, this card, labia majora, this card, lahat may betadine. Betadine kapag mayroong catheter. After the betadine, then you could wash with saline or your clean water to remove the stickiness of the betadine. So, so dalawa na lang. Ha? Betadine na lang tsaka yung clean wash. Yes, dito lang gamit ng feminine wash. Kasi nga, yung antiseptic mo will be the betadine. Clear. After the performance of your perineal care, you can change the patient's diaper, put the patient's gown, kung magpapapanjama pa siya, put the patient's pajama, and then perform your occupied bed making. After performing occupied bed making, the next thing that you're going to do to promote circulation of the back is to perform back massage. So let's assume na kapag bed making na ako. So you will now put the patient sa prone position, you will be performing back massage. Oh, pasyente, higa! Oh, higa! Ikaw! Oh, sino yung... Oh, hindi nagbibidyo, higa! Oh, yan. Nahawak ako, okay lang? Mami, tapa. Nahawak ako, okay lang, ha? Okay. So, what's the purpose of the performance of your back massage, especially for bedridden patient? That is to promote circulation at the back of the patient, and then it will also promote or prevent bed sores. So you will start sa mga bony prominences. So, sa nang usual na bony prominences? Sa sacral area. So, press. Si Ma'am, hawak ako ha. Press. Okay. And then, after pressing, you go on the back of the patient. So, start with three strokes. The first stroke is your effleurage. So, from the from the buttocks area, long firm stroke. Hawak kami. Yeah. Very good. For long firm stroke, that is your effleurage. I'm going to say effleurage. Very good. One more time. Effleurage. So long firm stroke. After the long firm stroke, you go with your petrissage. That's the pinching stroke. So pinch. Pataas. All strokes. So ito po, depende kung gano'ng mukha talagang gusto mong gawin. Okay? So, that is your petrissage. I'm going to say petrissage. Pwede naka-gloves, pwede hindi. Kung meron siyang bed sores, naka-gloves ka. Kung wala siyang bed sores, kahit hindi naka-gloves, pwede ka maglagay ng lotion, pwede ka rin maglagay ng powder or oil. You understand? So that is your pet massage. Everybody say pet massage? Pet And then you go with the coat med. And then you can end with your another pet massage. Okay, kapag ang pasyente mo may sipon, ng pneumonia, you can also add friction. Para kapag nag-expectorate siya, mas mabilis mag-expectorate. So ano yung pwede niyong gamitin na stroke? Effleurage, petrissage, tapotment, friction. You understand anong purpose nun? That is to prevent bed sores and promote circulation of the back. You understand. And then after that, tihaya ka na madam. And then after that, you could already assess the patient's comfort. Ma'am, I am done with your bed uh, with your bed bath. Do you feel comfortable? Yes po. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I just have to clean the room po. Perform your aftercare. Clean the room of the patient. Dispose mo na lahat ng dapat mong i-dispose. Linis na dapat ilinisin. And then document the things that you need to document. If there are things that you have observed the patient, di ba? May nakita ka ng mga erythema. May nakita kang pediculosis corporis, pubis. Diba? Kapaikis, you have to document all of those things. And then, you perform your hand washing. Clear po? Questions so far? Not. And that ends our bed bath. Question po? Wala. Sige po.